Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about and demonstrate uh, effective shoulder movements. So little key tips uh, to take into consideration when you're training your shoulders next time. Just these are going to be tips to help uh, you activate your muscle mind connection and get the most out of your shoulder workout. Now, I was going to film this at the gym. However, we're not allowed to film at the gym, so here we are in my home gym. My tiny little shed that I've converted into gym. So the first movement being the lateral raise. So with the lateral raise, this is one a lot of people get wrong. First of all, people tend to do most is pick a too heavy a weight. Now, they pick a weight that is uh, too much for them to handle just to get it up and look cool in the gym and eager lift. Now, with this, you want to go light and you want to get the movement right first before you uh, go up and wait. So this is one of those movements that you're not always going to get uh, go up and wait and go heavier and heavier and heavier in. Um, it's one of those movements you're more likely to perfect as uh, in terms of progression overload. So with progression overload, um, it is one of the keys to muscle gain and um, gaining muscle is you want to progress your weights, reps, sets, volume over time. Now with the lateral raise, because it is targeting such a small muscle group, um, you don't want to lift too much weight, in my opinion. Uh, I think it is one of those movements where you get to a certain weight and then you just focus on perfecting your technique and obviously adding volume. So my suggestions would be if you are going to train um, your side delts is uh, switch between the cable, the dumbbell, uh, single arm dumbbell raises and machines. Now um, once you've done that uh, I would change up your volume so for six weeks you may do three sets of lateral raises twice a week and then the next week uh, six weeks you might do four sets and then the next week uh, six weeks you might do five sets twice a week. I'll do that and then you might go back to three sets again and then also add in intensified techniques as well as um, working on your form as well. So with a lateral raise you want to have your dumbbells to the side of your body and you want to retract your scapula back and down to take the traps out of the movement. From here you want to raise the dumbbells out to the side. So you don't want to focus going up, you want to focus on sweeping them out to the side as if you're chucking them out a window. As you raise up, have a slight bend in your elbow, point your pinkies down as if you're pouring out a jug of water, and then as you get to the top, contract the doubts at a 90 degree angle to the body, and then come back down slowly in a negative fashion. So with the lateral raise, you want to Make sure that your elbows aren't going higher than your shoulders, so you're not going to engage your traps, you want to engage your side delts. And also, like I said, you want to sweep outwards as opposed to going up. Um, and when I talked about perfecting the movement, why I'm talking about uh, feeling that contraction at the top and slowing the negative down. Because the last thing you want to do is swing with the movement. All right, the next movement we're going to go on to is the rear delt flies. Now, this can be done on a machine, it can be done on cables, and it can be done with dumbbells. Uh, due to the limited equipment, we're going to perform this as dumbbells. So, this is one that people struggle the most to get the muscle mind connection with. Now, with this movement, you want to protract your scapula. So, you don't want to retract like you would in a back movement, you want to protract, you want to go the opposite way and roll your shoulders forward and depress your scapula. Right from here you want to just lead with the elbows and bring the weight up without retracting that scapula the whole time and you just want to focus on leading with the elbows, bring the elbows out and back as you contract those rear doubts. This is one of those movements you start off light and you have to really think about what muscle group you're working, so you're working those rear doubts, uh, those posterior doubts, and you just want to focus on leading off the elbows, retracting that, uh, the rear doubts at the top, 
and then coming back down. Now you can do these with two different variants. You can do them um, with your palms neutral or you can do them with the palms protracted. It's up to you which one you're gonna do. Try both and see which one fits you the best. All right, so the last movement is the dumbbell shoulder press. Now, this is one movement that people ego lift on. So, what I would suggest is lightening the weight again and just feeling the movement before you go up in weight. Now, for this movement, you wanna sit with your hips as far back to the back rest as possible. Um, or if you're just sitting uh, without a backrest, sit on the ground, have your back straight as possible, your head neutral, and then from there, you wanna lift the dumbbells up to your shoulders, and then from that position, you wanna have your elbows flared out, if you can, if you have no shoulder impingement, and then you wanna press up and, and bring the dumbbells in a little bit, um, not, not quite touching, but bring the dumbbells in a little bit, and then back down to just above the shoulders if your mobility, mobility allows it, and then come back up and repeat that movement. Now from here, one of the most important parts is keeping your elbows out to the side of your body, um, and then feeling that stretch. So from there, you wanna come up and then also contracting your delts at the top. This is why I say to lighten the weight and get the technique before you uh, add weight. So those are my tips for improving your shoulder growth and that muscle mind connection to your shoulders. Um, if you have any questions, find them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah.